In this video, I'm going to go through the new Kelly guide to set up your KW agent website. This is what you're going to be able to share with your clients and the public with the intention of getting them to view some information and sign up for their own personalized website within your website. So to get started, I went to sites. This used to be called landing pages and agent site page. This is where we're going to start with the Kelly guide. However, you also can come to agent site settings and see here is also another way to get to the guide and some things you can do with the marketing profile. So this is another way to do it. I'm going to click here and say agent site Kelly guide to get started and notice eventually this is where you're going to add more pages if you need to. So when I create this, it's going to say, okay, one, two, three to get started. First thing it wants to do is say, okay, what do you want your subdomain name to be? Because it's going to be on kdb.com. Now, this will auto bring over the one that you had for Playster. This is just if you need one, you can set it up and customize what that is. There are some limitations, and if it's already taken, it will tell you. So for this example, I went ahead and said the jtmfl.kdb.com, and this is going to give me the option there to claim the domain, which I did, and that was available. Now, marketing profile is the next step. And most of this should auto fill in from your marketing profile under command. However, you're going to add some new things like your professional job title. I said real estate consultant. You're going to make sure you've got all your information here. For compliance and legal, this is a new tool they've added. And all these little eyes, by the way, have little hints. So if you need some help along the way, just hover your mouse over the little I for information. So if you have a wet state site that requires specific things for compliance, here's where you can put in some information and links for that and add more links. Your imagery, this is going to be your profile picture, your team logo if you have one, and any information, your office logo. These should have also come in from the marketing profile automatically. I've added my Facebook and my mobile link here. So that will be that step. So that was step one. Step two now is choosing our style and the theme that we want. So I've got here, you've got an option to KW red theme or the dark theme right now. It kind of changes the KW to be red or dark. You'll have more options in the future. For now, we're just streamlining the look so that the consumer can have the same experience on the mobile app and your website. So here I could change the text here. So if I wanted to say find your dream home today, I can put that in and modify that text. You are allowed to upload your own images for a hero image up to five. So I've already switched it out. I can preview this here. And now it would be my site with the red logo. And it will be the image of South Florida that I purchased. So this is your ability to have up to five images. And it will do a slideshow when you add those. So this is how you customize your site to really be specific to the type of homes that you sell and your geographic area. Like I'm in Florida, so I've got a beautiful beach to show. Save and continue. So that was step two, style and theme, where you get to customize the imagery. Now I'm into the content where I get to do the company profile, about me, and contact us. These would be the first three pages we've added for you. And then you'll have an unlimited ability to create as many pages as you want after. So the first thing is navigation. We're starting here, so company profile. First thing is it's going to have a company profile and search engine optimization. So you're going to want to change this. I might say the J team as the page title about us and keep this about us as the subdirectory. And then what is the description? The J team with Keller Williams Realty in South Florida. I put my number there. So that will be in the SEO description. The content of that site will be the company profile. I could change this to meet the J team and I can upload an image if I want. So for this example, I will just grab that image of the Florida Ocean. So here we go. Drag and drop that there. This does let you crop it to make sure it fits. And I'm going to center that, set image. And that's how you're going to switch out the background image of this. Same thing you're going to be able to do down below with the intro paragraph, right? Meet us, blah, blah, blah. I did notice there is a character limit on this. So if you start having something, this should be a short little paragraph. 
What is the next headline? It could be something about like our mission statement and put that in, plus your ability to switch out the image so I can upload an image if I want. Section two, this could be like our vision, right? Or maybe our services. And then I could put that information here. We Okay, and switch out my image there. Then you've got your footer section. So this could be something that you could put in the footer, whatever you would want it to go there. So again, this is all changeable. What is your footer paragraph? That will be living there. And then continue through that one. The next one is for the about me. Now I'll tell you, I was filling this in, see how it's pre-filled in. And it gave me an error message when I hit continue because I didn't do this part of search optimization. It's missing some SEO information. So I can say Jay Cermak, real estate consultant with the J team, T professionals. So I've got that there, and then I can hit continue on that one. Then last up is the contact us. Now this one's going to take me to the contact there. What is our SEO? Contact the J team at Keller Williams Realty Professionals. Your South Florida state needs. So now that will be what shows to Google. The content, it already has that stuff here. There's our site, there's our information. Make sure you add spaces here. So maybe the dash or the period. Okay, and save and continue. And just like that, I went through one, two, three of the guide. Now I'm done, you can do some stuff to learn more about it. You can go to the site settings and create more sites. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to come back here and come back to sites, come back to agent site page, right? And agent site settings. And now I've finished the Kelly guide. So now I can do add a page, add my next page if I want to and start putting some information in here and select the site that I want to do. I can keep adding some here. I also can come to agent site page and create a new site on my agent site and create a page that way as well. So that's how we're going to get this started with your MyKW agent website inside of Command. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect today.